In the book I'm reading, someone says, Rabbi never stop pestering us. One day, we'll have to look Israel straight on. Without reservation or procrastination, we won't escape it. Here we are. I'm here and I'm leaving again. When I got to the airport at security, I was asked if I wanted my passport stamped. I said, sure, why not? Like if it was an act of courage, an act of allegiance as well. She couldn't care less, she stamped it. And if one day I have to go to Syria, what will happen? Probably nothing. Or else I have to get a new passport. A passport costs 280 euros. My act of bravado will cost me that much. Bravado. This is where I've gotten to. I don't mind that people know I came here. It isn't very pragmatic, but it's not wearing a yellow star either. No, I'd even say it's the opposite. And I won't escape the yellow star. I'm with it. It's written inside me. Yesterday, I had a very bad day. A day like in Paris, but worse. I had a gastro something, and when Ruti came to get me, I said, let's go down to the beach. After two minutes, I got terrible cramps. I wanted to go back. She took me. I was dying of cold, although it must have been 65 degrees, and I was dressed for midwinter. I was shivering. I went to bed, and I slept. It was raining when Amos Oz's mother committed suicide. Amos became a great Israeli writer. Everyone I know reads him, although sometimes they criticize him. I went out at seven in the morning. I was out of cigarettes. I walked to the beach. It's half a block from the apartment where I'm staying. I saw a small crowd. Someone was filming. Someone who embraced a man. Some debris from window panes. I turned the corner bought my cigarettes and I asked what happened with three words of Hebrew boom they went I asked if anyone was injured for that was the answer I was speechless all of that was supposed to be over nothing is normal someone else had and 50 wounded in English and seriously too it could have been worse I said so peace is over the man say no it's not over it's just set back three months I didn't know what to do anymore. People kept on running on the beach. Others were picking up garbage. Others walked. I really didn't know what to do. I said to myself, let's go get some tea somewhere. But nothing appealed to me. I mean, I couldn't imagine sitting down somewhere after that.